So we've come out of our hotel here in Owachapan and we're having a walk around and we've just met some really cool guys. If you're nervous about walking around El Salvador, don't be. These guys are really cool. They've got cool motorbikes and I miss my motorbike back home. Yeah. And this little pedestrian area is literally right next to the hotel and it's lovely. Everybody's just sitting outside enjoying the evening and it's nice because it's cooler here. It's definitely a few degrees cooler than... Um... Oh. Ah! Con mora. Con mora. Con mora. Con mora es aquí. <laughs> right, so I think that is raspberry and I think that is strawberry. I'm going in. I don't know. <laughs> no idea. There's sometimes looking at the menus, we've got lemonade, but they asked us whether we want this one or that one. So we said just get one of each because I didn't know the difference. They're both delicious. But they both look delicious. But and I don't know what they are. They've got some kind of red fruit in it. Fruity. Fruity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They're both delicious. <laughs> They're both delicious. But they are both fruity. <laughs> They're both fruity lemonade. Mmm, how good do these crepes look? They smell delicious. Ooh. They're good. What you got? That's beautiful. I got an Italian one with some added jalapenos in. Mmm. That's so good. So it's our first morning waking up in the town of Owachapan. And first thing is has to be a coffee in the coffee region of <laughs> El Salvador. And then we're gonna try and find where to get the bus to Ataco, which is uh, another town here on the Ruta de la Flores. And uh, so it's gonna be a bit of an adventurous day. Yeah, and we've heard that Ataco is the prettiest town, which is hard for us to believe because they've They're all, all been pretty. So pretty. So we're looking for the bus station, but we've ended up okay. in the middle of the market. I think it's that way and down that side. Okay, so we're going to go and have a little look around. <laughs> Which is always funny when he trusts my directions. <laughs> We're still looking for the bus, but it's a little bit chaotic, but it's actually Father's Day here in El Salvador, and it's Monday, and it's a bank holiday. Hola. Español? Si, no. Si un canal de YouTube, visitar El Salvador para crear el video positivo. Tread the globe. Inglaterra. Inglaterra, wow. Bienvenidos a El Salvador. So that was so funny, they're doing celebrations here for Father's Day and of course they spotted the tourists on the microphone so we went over to say hi and uh, Marianne in her best Spanish tried to explain who we are and what we're doing. Okay we think the bus is round the corner, we're slowly getting there, it's a little bit complicated to find, should have maybe got a, a tuk tuk. <laughs> Where are we going love? 
Is it down there or down there? Vamos un dos tres sin estrés. Muestra más tus pasos, te cuento hasta diez y ven. Yo sé que tú quieres. We made it on a bus. Everyone's super helpful, and in my very broken Spanish, I've kept asking for a taco, and I know the derecha is the right, and the izquierda is the left. So we had lots of directions, but we made it on a bus. So after about a 15 minute drive on the local bus, we have arrived in the town of Ataco. So Ataco is one of the villages here on La Ruta de las Flores and it's supposed to be one of the most colorful and is known for its beautiful murals on the walls. So we're gonna have a look around. It's got beautiful, almost cobbled styled streets and uh, we're really looking forward to exploring this lovely little town here in El Salvador. I have just spotted a beautiful coffee shop. This looks lovely. Hola, buenos dias. Hola. So we've literally walked five minutes from where we were dropped off on the bus and we found this wonderful coffee shop. Oh. Smell that coffee. Mmm. Real Salvadorian coffee. Freshly ground. Freshly ground. And we've ordered oh. like an apple pie and it's just so beautiful. There's this lovely little garden, nice table outside. It's a very small, lovely little coffee shop. And we just love the ceiling above us, the way that they've put this ladder and little fairy lights. But what's really special is, we just said, I just said, um, is, do you have something to eat? And he opened the oven door and pulled out a tray with a some fresh, fresh quesadillas and um, an apple tart. <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> so we've just been given a little tiny espresso cup with some um, coffee liqueur in the bottom that is um, a house recipe. That's very strong. <laughs> but the taste afterwards is really rich coffee flavor, really nice. It's amazing, the gentleman was just explaining that they actually have a farm where they grow their own coffee, produce their own coffee. You just can't, traveling around El Salvador, you just can't get fresher, nicer coffee. It's just amazing. And that, we are in the coffee growing region here in El Salvador and uh, that all forms part of the Ruta de la Flores. So uh, if you like coffee, you definitely have to come here um, as part of your travels. I just asked the name of this and it is a flan de queso y café. So it's a cheese and coffee flan. I don't even know what to expect. Oh, it's like, it's like a cheesecake with an after hint of coffee. It's like a coffee cheesecake. Like, you know, the baked American cheesecake. Oh, baked cheesecake. Yeah, it's really delicious. And I've just come to pay the bill 
and this gentleman is so delighted that we're showing all the positive things about El Salvador. He's just given me some coffee. How lovely and generous. We've told you the people of El Salvador are the best. They are so generous, so warm with their hearts and warm with their welcomes. Muchas gracias. Bienvenidos a El Salvador. I just love walking around and seeing all the little stand selling bits. And we just found this really cool place. They're selling all the old typewriters. Definitely makes you feel like you've gone back in time a little bit. So today is actually Father's Day here in El Salvador. It's a Monday, which means it's a bank holiday. And we're expecting the town to be slightly busier than normal being a weekday. It's normally the weekends where uh, the towns are really busy. And we were just walking down the street when this lovely lady that you can see behind me sitting down wished me a happy Father's Day in Spanish. Luckily, Marianne managed to translate it for me. <laughs> so walking around a taco, all the, car the walls are so beautifully coloured and it just, this colour just makes you feel good. I mean, check out the street behind me, lots of lovely little stores, cobbled streets. It's got a really nice feel, this town. And in true fashion of La Rutas de la Flores, there are flowers dotted around. It's so beautiful. Very beautiful. So we've come down to the main square here in Ataco, and it is the happening place. Like so many of the towns and villages here in El Salvador, everything happens around a central square and here is no different. There are so many different food stands behind me. We're going to go and have a little look around. There's music playing and the square is normally overlooked by a church that you can see behind us. It's just so lovely. It smells amazing. It tastes better. I bet. Just even though. Okay, Maybe later. 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 Yeah. Look at that. So we're walking around the square here and these food stands. And how good does that food look behind us? If I hadn't just eaten a huge apple pie, I'd have some. So I think I might be coming back. And then you come across this beautiful fountain. It's in fact, I'm hot. It's very tempting to jump into that beautiful looking blue water. I just, it's just, this town has just got such a lovely, relaxed vibe. It's not hustly bustly. It's a very calm, relaxed place to come and have a walk around. But it's not like the typical Mexican one. This is the Salvadorian one. So it's like a bread, but with cheese. It's a completely different uh, texture. Oh, it smells like cheesy. It smells like a cheese straw. Mm, that's really nice. Slightly sweet, cheesy, and it's got sesame seeds on top. Mm. Well seasoned. It's a really that like, spongy, cheesy, bready loveliness. Okay, so now we're gonna try Marquisote. And it is in fact the stand that we're at is been so popular this morning it's sold out, so they only have a, some samples left. But it's a it's like looks like a sponge and apparently it's made of uh, just with the egg whites. Mmm a sweet, soft, light sponge. It's delicious.
We've been blown away at how lovely the uh, Salvadorian people are. But here in Ataco, literally people have offered to take our photos, they've offered us food, they've given us coffee. They are just so excited that we're here. Um, and it's really nice. We even bumped into some people from Houston who said that they saw our video of San Salvador. Hola! Um, and uh, came here because they heard how safe and how lovely it was. And it's right. You should be here. You should come to El Salvador. We've come back to the square to grab some lunch and we've ordered a typical lunch here and it's actually a surf and turf, it's a bit of meat and a bit of prawns but this square is packed with people that have come down for lunch and the stand that we bought our food from seems to be the busiest here so I'm really looking forward to trying some lunch today. So this is an interesting looking lunch, we got a bit of meat, some rice, some fried spring onions a tomato salsa, a little bit of pasta, and a few prawns. Well, that lunch was absolutely delicious. The best tasting meat, the barbecue, smoky flavor, absolutely delicious. So as we're walking around Ataco, there is just so many beautiful buildings. We found restaurants, we found hostels, there's churches like the one you can see behind me here. And I've actually found a, a picture on the wall here of one of the national birds here in El Salvador. Beautiful. a couple of hours this afternoon walking around a taco and it is one of my favorite towns in La Ruta de las Flores. So if you're nervous about walking around San Salvador, uh, San Salvador, cut, cut, cut. Porque visita mucho locación me, my brain is woo! So then they've got this lovely and like so many squares in the towns they are the main central area of the happening no that sounds terrible okay so now we're going to try one called marquis sote and uh, the stand here marquis sote marquis sote yeah the u is not pronounced okay marquis sote oh, yeah. 